God Hits. everyone and thank you so much for joining me today on my youtube channel i'm your girl robin nicole the inspiration specialist and i'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose happy monday y'all if you hear birds chirping it's because i switched it up and i'm outside it's beautiful and i just had stuff that i wanted to talk to y'all about so i will be posting these messages for this week throughout the week and i'm just gonna go ahead and give y'all what i got right so Yesterday, y'all, I did a really long word, and it was awesome. It was called, They Chose Themselves. And when I made an attempt to upload it, I felt like the Lord just told me to pause. And he just said, you know what, just wait for another time to do that breakdown. Because there were more pressing things for me to say, right? So one of the things that I have noticed that is happening already in April thus far is that God is is using what I like to call sometimes the power of the disconnect. And most times when we think about disconnecting from someone or something or a situation or whatever the case may be, it might even be an, an ideal. It might be a stance. It might be a posture. Disconnection can often feel like you are lost or, you know, you just kind of feel like, well, I didn't plan to do that. So, so what, what does this mean for me, God? Right. And, Something that I want you to realize about when God allows you to disconnect is that if the Lord is leading you to disconnect, then the disconnect is not actually a disconnect in a negative sense, like you're not connecting to something good or you are not continuing in something that God deemed to be blessed. No, the disconnect to God often means reconnection to him because what he'll do is disconnect you from something and then he'll reconnect you to something else. And something else that's important to know is that it's not always negative. It's not always something where it's a terrible, terrible thing and everything's so bad. Yeah, no, it's not even that deep a lot of times when it comes to God. But he also knows that many times when he wants us to do something, he knows that if, it, if we're comfortable, if we're not focused on the intricacies of that thing and how you're supposed to ebb and flow through it, guess what? He will instruct the, uh, the disconnect because he knows that it's not something that you will probably do on your own. And I think it's really important that you hear me in this space when I say this because the root word is connection. God is working on our connections. And the biggest connection he's working on right now is our connection to him. I know we want divine connections. We want to meet people. We want to get things done. We want to do all of these things. But I genuinely believe the connection that God is speaking of right now is about us being divinely connected to him. I cannot say this enough. Please, please, please spend more time talking to God. Spend more time sitting in his presence. And listen, when you sit in God's presence, okay, when you sit in God's presence, I want you to make sure you understand that even if he doesn't necessarily give you a call to action after and he says, oh, go do this next or go do that next. You don't understand how powerful the seeds that you are planting in that alone time and that quiet time with God. You don't you don't realize how powerful and incredible those seeds are, because like with any seed that we plant, especially when we plant it in good soil, it will reap an incredible harvest. And sometimes, y'all, it's in those quiet moments when we're chilling and we're sitting there with God, like, oh, God, like, what's this? What's going on? When that part is happening, we often do not realize, y'all, that that is when God is developing those details in our story. Hear me out. We talk about the devil being in the details, but I say this all the time. God creates the details. Because he's the author and the finisher, but the enemy will just jump inside of him and he'll just try to manipulate and do whatever he wants to do in the midst of what God has already ordained and in the midst of what God has already said. So this is a quick little message today, but it is important that you understand that this time right up in here, this focus, this is about you getting connected to God. So if that requires a disconnection first, then a reconnection next, so be it. Your focus is not on the people. Your focus is not on the, the opportunities. Your focus is not on the place. Your focus is on connecting with God in such a way 
that in whatever he tells you to do, however he tells you to move, you will have so much peace about that choice. Even if you don't know the next steps, you will have such peace about that choice because you will know in the time of the choosing, you are making incredible decisions and planting seeds in a secret place that one day everybody's going to see. People are going to be able to look and see this is what this person has been doing when nobody was looking. Remember, your character is built when nobody is looking. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh, God hits.